So Kairi, you know the third national car project is a rather mysterious one simply because the details are vague and just all over the place. But you spoke to Mohamed Mansour from Alam Perkasa Consortium, right? What is their deal? So Alam Perkasa Consortium is one of the, the proposers. Okay. Their proposal is one of the two shortlisted that we know of. If you recall, um, this third national car is the Prime Minister's brainchild. Okay. And earlier this year, the Minister for Entrepreneurial Development yeah. um, announced that there were two that were shortlisted from a wider field. Mm. And he said that an announcement will be made sometime around the middle of this year. And I think now people are just waiting to see who it will be. But like you said, it's mysterious and not much is known about the proposals. Yeah. And so when we spoke to Alam Pekasa Consortium, it's a, it's a first look into what sort of proposals are being put forward. All right. And I think it's quite exciting to see what, what they have on the, ta the table. Okay. Because there's not much is known about them, but anyway, do they have any experience before in automotive? Have they built anything in the past? Well, the people involved in it seems okay. to have, yes. Um, for example, Alam Pekasa Group, which is the lead partner in the consortium, they've been involved in the design and building of a few Proton models. Okay. Um, if you recall Preve yeah. and Artiga, yeah. which, uh, which is based on Satria. Mm. And I think there was um, another one, which, um, which is called Amas, which did not uh, commence with commercial production. All right. So in that sense, part of the consortium is also Giugiario, the Italian car designer, All right. who was, I think, named the car designer of the century in 1999. Mm. So these are well-known people, and I think from that basis, so they have the backing. They already. do, they do, okay. and and apparently they have also lined up investment from or funding rather from investors. Yeah, five billion, of five billion ringgit. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so they mean business, it seems. All right. So, I think it's a question of whether which proposal would be taken up by the government. At yeah, this point. because right now two have been shortlisted, right? Yes. Okay. So here's the thing: we already have two national car brands, mm -hmm. and you know we've seen the struggles that Proton have mm -hmm. gone through. Now, what is APC's game plan so that it doesn't make the same mistakes? From our conversation with the consortium, mm. their game plan is basically to tackle the export market. Okay. Because we all know that Malaysia is quite a limited market. It's, yeah. The volume is relatively small. We have a number of players. We have two national cars mm. already in the domestic market. So according to APC, Lampa Casa Consortium, their plan is to take it overseas, to mass produce for the export market, mainly for Europe and China, because their plan is to build electric vehicles. You spoke to them, mm -hmm. and they seem to be very ambitious. They have big plans. They even want to list on the New York Stock Exchange. Eventually, now, yes. yes. And they also want to build the Alif SUV, right? Now, do they have what it takes, you think? You mentioned Alif. That's the, the proposed first model that mm. they would Build under the, the international car brand okay. if they get the, the mandate, and their proposed name is Malaysian International Motor Company. Yeah. Or they, they, they prefer to call it Mimpo, yes. Yeah. As to whether they have what it takes, I think the jury is out. They certainly have a comprehensive business plan which they outline in the interview. Of course, we, we could not include all the details in the article that we published. So I think at this point, it depends on whether they can execute what they have in mind, whether they whether they can raise the funding that they say they have okay. and whether they can ex carry out the mandate to the goals that they have set. And of course, that depends on whether they are chosen for the third national car project. Right. And I think at this point, it's also interesting to note that not much is known about the other proposal that is shortlisted. Yep. And if this one is anything to go by, the other one could be as exciting or even more exciting. So I guess we'll see what the minister decides, or the cab cabinet rather decides. For more on the stories, pick up a copy of the Age Weekly at all good newsstands.